Okie dokie. I got our next problem all written out for us, ready to rock. The, we can get rid of the gal there. <clears throat> something. Okay. This is what is in your next problem. Uh, problem five. And it says, we have, it shows a setup, what's called the standard notation setup for a cell. What that means is, is it shows, this is the standard way of writing a galvanic cell. When we write the two different metals that we're using, we have in between them two lines. So this separates which one is being oxidized, which one is being reduced. We can look at the either side of these. We can tell what, what's happening to the uranium directly. It's written right. We don't have to figure out. Remember before we were having to use the chart? to compare the two, see who's higher, who gets reduced, who gets oxidized. Now we can do that with this. We could go ahead and try to look up nickel. Nickel's about here, look up uranium. Oh, bummer, uranium's not on here. Remember earlier I said this just shows more common, uh, the more common ions. Uh, uranium's not very common, so it's not on this common chart. So I don't know where uranium is. Would it be here or would it be here? Uh, I don't know. But I can tell, by the way, that this is written because these standard ways of writing these galvanic cells are giving you the answer to whether or not who's reduced, who's oxidized by looking at them. This shows on the left that we have an atom of uranium and an ion of uranium. This nickel shows you have an ion and then an atom. So what happened to the uranium? It went from atom to ion. It went from a zero to a positive three. Boom, oxidized. It's number one from zero to positive three. This oxidation state went up. This, and this tells me directly, this is becoming oxidized, okay? Nickel is getting reduced. Positive two to zero is a reduction. So this one is getting reduced. Just by looking at the setup, I can tell who's getting oxidized and reduced. All right, so if I don't have a chart with both of them on it, I, I have this, this standard notation of, of writing a galvanic cell, then I will know by the way it's written. Uh, we can also now predict where, where uranium should be on the chart in relation to the nickel. If the nickel is getting reduced, because it tells me that right here, nickel is here, here, uranium is becoming oxidized. Where should it be? Should uranium be above the nickel? No, no, Dara, no. It should be below the nickel. It's gonna be it's down here somewhere. So when we get a value for this, we're gonna calculate, and that is the question, by the way. Calculate the reduction potential. Uh, right there, calculate the standard reduction potential for the uranium in this cell. So calculate where on this reduction potential chart uranium would be. It should be down here. We will predict that it's gonna be in this negative value area. Okay, let's find out. So how would I do that? Well. Okay, so we know the uranium's getting oxidized, and we know the nickel's getting reduced. And we also know, we were told in the problem, that the voltage for the cell, E cell, voltage for the battery, is 1.54 volts. We were told that, so we know what that is. Remember in the other problems, we were figuring it out. We were given it in this problem, and we're gonna figure out one of the other two things. So we're given E of the cell, 1.54. All right, over here, we want to figure out the E of the uranium, which is being oxidized, which happens at the anode, OA vowels. We need to figure out the E of the anode, the E at the anode, which is, I'm going to call an X. So that's what we're trying to find out in this problem. We don't have this one. We don't have this one. Yes, we do. Look at your chart. Look it up. We can look up the reduction Okay, the reduction value for the nickel. Look that up, it's in there. Okay, so about yay here, negative, look at it carefully, uh, negative 0.25, negative 0.25. So I found the nickel on the chart. Okay, put it in, we're at the reduction place, the cathode is where reduction happens, 0.25. All right. So let's solve, solve for x, problem solve it. So I like getting rid of that, making it x nice and positive. So it would be x plus 1.54 equals negative 2.5. And now subtract the 1.54 from both sides. So, or add this to it, distribute 
So add this to this. You can do it that way and distribute the, the negative, make it a negative. So this is going to be 1.54 plus 0.25. That's 1.79. 1.79, um, but it will be a negative. Okay, it will be a negative 1.79. So and this is a subtract 1.54. So that comes out to be negative 1.79. Reduction potential. Okay, so x comes out to be negative 1.79. Now, remember earlier, just a few minutes ago, we said let's predict here's nickel. If this is becoming oxidized, it should be lower. Negative 1.79 is going to put it about right there, about there, if it were on the chart. It'd be lower. It should be. We should get a negative value for that. Uranium. You know, wants to get rid of those electrons. It doesn't want to become, doesn't want to go undergo reduction. It wants to undergo oxidation. It wants to get rid of its electrons. That's oxidation. So it is low down. It would be low down here on this chart where the oxidation stuff happens, things that want to be oxidized. All right, so that would be the value. If uranium were on this chart, it would have a value of negative 1.79. It would be about, oh, right there. All right, and that was the, that problem, just figuring out what the reduction potential of uranium would be. Okay, so wait.